Today, I attempt the hardest Cuphead challenge I have ever tried. Is it possible to beat the Root Pack while blindfolded? Would I be up to this major test of strategy, skill, and precision? This is the story of how I beat a Cuphead boss while blindfolded. Uh... What are you aiming at?! What are you aiming at?! I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, it makes a different sound when it's parryable. That's good to know. <laughs> and on just my fifth attempt, this happened. That's perfect! I dodged an attack. I think I'm in I think I'm inside of him. What? We're getting the timing down, at the very least. Ah, I'm inside of it. Ah! I think I need to go for straight damage. So we're gonna switch to the scatter shot right off the bat here. Where am I? I'm inside of him, aren't I? Why did I keep saying this? This is impossible. There's no way. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. How? <laughs> How is this possible? Uh, why am I doing this? This is gonna suck. Okay, well, at this point I noticed that being just good at the game isn't gonna really help in this case. I needed to think a little deeper than this. Learn the rhythms, think of a strategy, plan it all out. Then, maybe this will be doable. Okay, what? I'm allowed to take out the blindfold to strategize. So what if, I think the strat might be roll forward once so then I can instantly jump when I hear the sound. And I can, I can probably double jump. Okay, we're gonna try that strat. I don't know how well it's gonna translate when I can't see. What? I have an idea. I need to make sure I can hear the sound effects really well. I did it! I should get lucky. What do I do during that phase? Okay, we need, we're doing more scouting. I need to do more scouting. Just like that, we jumped right over the first hurdle. But that's not where it ends at all. The second hurdle, being the onion phase, would be even worse and harder to get around. Okay, so after this phase, I should probably go all the way to the right. And then just... Where, am I safest in this corner? No. I think I just need to get lucky. I, yeah, I do not see a consistent way of dodging that. Ah, I rolled right into a f tear. Are, is the way the tears fall consistent? Is it the same every time? Okay, let's see. So last time... Um, did my Xbox crash? What the f happened? After some brief technical difficulties, I realized that if you just don't shoot the onion in the second phase, he never attacks you. So you get to skip right to the third phase. So that's hurdle two cleared. If I, what if I just stand still and shoot it? Will it, no, it won't die. 
So I think the strat's just gonna be to keep running back and forth and dashing. Oh my god. I need I need more practice. Ah it it doesn't matter if I get here with no with one life, because I just can't get the original timing going. I need a better strategy for this first part. What if I just stay here? No, that doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna try with the 121 beat metronome. I don't know why I tried this. This was a really stupid idea. I think that was the best attempt yet. Okay, so that gives me four cards. Okay, and then right when he's done, just start shooting. <gasps> that works! Okay, that works! Now I, need to, now I need to practice getting the parries. How, how am I gonna know when I'm at five stars? Or five. Okay, I guess when I get hit by the radish for the first time. I have no idea how that went. I need to look at the. <laughs> I need to watch that back. And that's another hurdle cleared. We found out how to get rid of the radish and the onion, so now we just have to deal with the carrot. But this was far from over still. If the radish didn't die. Come on. And the sh turned off again? God, I like lost my buttons. No. <sighs> it went on for so long. I got like tripped up in the middle. I was doing really well. That's upsetting. This is, but that, that run proved that this is doable. Eh, actually not really. As it turns out, a strategy that involves doing something blind for like two minutes straight during a boss battle because it does that little damage isn't gonna work out. The longer it goes on, the more chance I have of getting hit. So no matter how many hit points I have, it's just gonna keep going on and I'm just gonna lose them all. So clearly I needed a new plan. Interesting. With this new discovery, I found a consistent way to get past the first phase with only losing one hit. But that wasn't all I did to change my plans. It actually turns out, if I just brute force my way through the onion, with a little bit of luck, I can get out with taking either zero or one damage, which is perfect. And that consistently gets me back to the carrot without the radish boss on one or two HP, which is all I need once I fo start focusing on base damage completely. If I can just brute force my way right through the carrot, this thing phase will take less than 20 seconds and it'll just be over before I know it. So that's the plan I started betting on.
That was close. That was my closest run. Look at that. It's like... This much away. This much. And then, this happened. Oh! Who? This is doable! This is doable! This is actually possible! Okay, okay. Now, this happened. Oh! No! No! I dodged the beams. If I had three hit points coming into that phase instead of two, that would have been it. Oh, it's possible. It's so f***ing possible. Okay, enough trolling. Now, this run happened. You know how painful it is? Where this sock in my head? You know how much that hurt my eyes? Oh my god, we did it! Yes! And just like that, we beat the Cuphead Root Pack while blindfolded. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. But if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want more. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a good day.